as a college student i use the pdf file format pretty much every other day even if you are an office working guy you use the pdf file format maybe every other day for me it's like every single moment of my day every file i make is pdf every file i get from my college is pdf every file i submit to my college is also pdf even while i'm sleeping i i think in my brain pdf files because all the time it's pdf 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 and editing the pdf files on our mac even on our windows has been pretty easy so far but nowadays as i use all the apple products like the iphone ipads and this is not an ipad the ipad is here that's recording the audio that's why i'm not showing it i don't want to miss that one anyway the mac is also here so i, I just don't want to show you right now anyways um the best part here is this video is sponsored by wondershare pdf element even though they haven't sponsored in many videos but still i made some videos about this application because this is one of the best application to edit annotate create pdf there are many more things i'll be going in depth and show you guys so if you guys like the application after watching this video then you can get one link in the description if you click that link you can get 50 percent off that's amazing mind-blowing blessings this video is sponsored that means it's very good for me and also for our channel anyways so i'll be going in depth into my phone and i'll show you guys all the feature going into these devices so nowadays i don't carry my mac that much because the mac is a little bulky i carry my ipad the most the bigger screen you have the better it is to edit all the pdf files as it's better to edit the pdf files i really like the ipad so i most of the time carry my ipad with me wherever i go even signing forms or filling up forms or annotating any kind of pdf files is very very easy even if you have like it doesn't matter what kind of pdf file you have you can manipulate that file if you have a single account on their application then you can get all the files that you have on your cloud on every single devices that means if you have your account you have some pdf files on your ipad or on your mac in the cloud then if you are on the bus on the train on the subway then you can access the file anywhere you want so you don't need to worry about what files you have what files you don't have even if you're traveling you get all the files anyways without talking much let's go on to the phone let's see the application in person okay time to go into the phone and check the application there are many features in the application but i'll try to show you the most cool features and most amazing features anyways i want some feature they still haven't provided that i really really miss and i really want first of all there are two applications one is called pdf element pro one is just the pdf element light pdf element you can go to the app store search for the pdf element there are two applications you'll find first one is the pdf element like pdf editor this one is the free you don't need to pay anything you can use it like normal but you're not gonna get all the features over here but if you like this one then you can definitely go for the premium one or the pro one but the one i use right now is the pdf element editor i have been using it for very very long time even on my iphone and also on my ipad if you're not having the application then you have to download if you already have the application then you just need to update i'll be updating this application just by clicking and it will take some little moment so here's the application let's go into the application once you get into the application you have to click on the hamburger menu after that you can log in with your account right now i have already locked in my account is already set it up everything is okay i'll be importing some pdf file from my icloud drive i'll show you how once you are here you have to click on this plus button here i'll just click on the files or whatever you have your files okay so once you're here you can see there are multiple places from where i can import my pdf files i'll be going with my icloud drive and i have the files on my download section i'll be importing maybe two files the first one is this one i need this one once you import the file that file will be here i'll be importing another file so i have imported two files so once you import the files the files will be here and even if you delete the files from here the files are not going to be deleted this is the iphone 12 pro max still i feel it's a little smaller for editing text files that's why i use the ipad the most the cool feature i want to show you is the dark mode so what you have to do is go into your ios setting and from here tap your brightness click on the dark mode the application will be dark and the blend is amazing you see the full application got into dark mode that's very very cool recently they added the page feature here you can see they have automatically added the page number one if i go scroll down they have added the page number three four five if you want some more feature you just want to click on this small symbol over here once you click there are two modes you get the vertical and the horizontal if you are studying and you keep your iphone down here for half an hour this phone will not turn off you don't need to go and dig into the setting and turn it on i can do whatever i want to do in this pdf file if i want to edit anything in this pdf file just dig on the text and i'll get the ability to edit the text if i click on edit i can make it cyber security 
here you can see i've already edited the text if you want to edit you can edit any 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 text whatever you want once you click on this image section then you can get the ability to edit all the image here you can see the replace if i click on replace i can replace it with any picture i have if i want to replace this picture just click click on replace now you can replace it with like maybe you want to do with this this picture is pretty big it will take time so it's already replaced i can just stretch next thing i really like is extracting the image whenever you have some image if you want to extract the image you can do so once i get the files from my college i want to extract all the images and manipulate it in my way so i can click on extract but once i extract the photo the photo will be on my phone in order to annotate or signing you have to go into this one okay now you get the highlighting features if you want to do the highlighting then you just need to do this two finger then you can go up down if you use one finger then it will strike through all over the places even if you are coloring take care about that one if you use two finger then you can just go up go down but if you are using one finger then you just can do the strike or the color there is also the underline so many features you just you just need to explore yourself and you'll find this application to be the most convenient application anyway the next one is the pencil that is a basic one here you can see we have the color and the thickness if you want to make it bold then you can make it bold the opposite we can control i use this one the most because this is much more amazing and cool i think because i can just I can just move it around. I got this one. This is the shape. This is the oval shape. Text my last name, my first name. Once I have already completed. Now, next important thing is the signature. Click over the pencil. After that, you'll get your signature option. The last one, signature. I have already made this one. If I want to make another one, create signature. I'm done putting my signature over here. You can see I got my signature. There are some extra things I want to show you that is optimizing the PDF files. So once you have the PDF files, maybe the PDF file is too large for you. Maybe you want to do some adjustment, then you can definitely do so. Make the file size lower if you want to make it lowest. The quality doesn't go that bad. Next one i'll show you that is the set password uh, this is what i do with my confidential file the other one i want to show you is a show information once you get some file on your phone you can see the information how the file has been made or what date it has been created and what date it has been edited or modified the last time searching once you go there and you can search for any text once i try to search for the cyber threat it has already shown me all the texts i have on this file they also show the page page number two page number three page number four on the page number four malicious cyber activity i can go there and i can find all the text so far you guys have seen a lot of things about this application if you guys really like the application there is a link in the description even if you don't buy there's a free one i have already showed you guys you can get the free one and try that one if you like the free one then go for the premium one like i have been using the application for more than two years most of my pdf journey and pdf life has been going very smoothly with this application because adobe uh, i don't like that much like it's maybe a little professional not for me maybe a little high grade that i don't need maybe i don't like 